Hey everybody, this is a very special edition of Big Time Reality TV. My name is Andy Kirk. You guys can find me on Twitter. Let me move my headphones in real quick. You guys can find me on Twitter at CSC Grady Kirk in the blog of Big Time Reality TV. Blogspot.com. Like I said, this is not episode 20. I want to say, say my, my next episode is going to be episode 30. I just want to make this a special edition because I'm very, very heated about a certain show right now. Um, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you guys know every Tuesday night there's just show on there's just a WWE show called Tough Enough. It's a reality show where a bunch of but a bunch of people auditioned. I think I think it's over thirteen thousand people sending on audition videos, and they came down to thirteen. Well, they're down to the, they were down to the final nine nine tonight, and uh, the one that. I thought was a front runner. As far as last week, he gets the boot tonight. I am. I just don't. I, I honestly, I just don't get it. I don't get what made him. What made Patrick the one to go? Yes, he was being arrogant. Yes, he was being quite annoying. He needed some humble pie. But ZZ still there? I I love I love ZZ. ZZ was one of my favorites on that special on the network. I was bummed, bummed when he didn't make it, but he ended up making it after one of the finalists got got uh, medically evacu- uh, didn't get medically cleared. Um, and I know a lot of people on Twitter, and I've seen this, have the same sentiments as me. This is, it just doesn't make sense to me. In the past few weeks, I'll, I'll run, round down the list of who's been voted off. I mean, you've had I don't remember the first person. Week two was that guy guy named Alex. Okay. He really wasn't showing much. Week three was Daria. And I mean, I was rooting for Daria. I liked Daria, but was she she after the whole thing with that ex, her dropping the title, it really wasn't it really it really wasn't in the cards for her. And uh Patrick going tonight. Well, Gabby went last week. Gabby was one that I liked, but I wasn't too mad to see her home. Um, Patrick going this week, though. I mean, yes, that comment he made off the top of the show to Tanner. What what is it like being in the bottom three? Yes, I, I think he should absolutely been in the bottom three. Uh, my friend on Twitter at Steve the Steamer made a good thing. My friend Steamer Steamer said uh, that Brian and Paige should have used their their saving for a easy home. I mean, they could have eas- they could have easily done that. I mean, no matter ZZ's been in the bottom three three out of the five, first five weeks, he's still going to he's gonna he's if it's up to if it's up to the WWE universe. I feel like ZZ is going to get the contract. People like Mata, people like Josh, people like Tanner, they're going to get cut before ZZ. And is that right? No. Honestly, I don't think so. Um, I remember back in uh, whatever season that that Tough Enough was on when it was on four years ago, um, similar situation uh, where that Miss USA chick, uh, Rima, was doing so bad that they – sent her home and they didn't send anybody else home. They didn't put anybody else in the bottom three with her. They were like, okay, Rima, you haven't improved in this amount of time. We're sending you home. That's exact, absolutely what uh, Daniel Bryan, Pedro, Hulk Hogan should have done with these. They should have saved, they should have saved Josh. They should have saved Patrick, especially Patrick. I mean, as of, the, as of this week, Patrick still would have been there, but I, but I think he would, he'd be the one to beat now. I think he would be number three, behind uh, behind Tanner and behind uh, Mata. I think he's better than Josh, yes, and I think he's better than Zizi. So uh, I don't know.
So, um, so yeah, we're down to four guys and four girls in this uh, tough enough. I'm only going for about another few more minutes. I don't feel like being on too long. Uh, special editions aren't long episodes for me. But um, I'm just hoping if they if they bring this format back, if they bring tough enough back for season seven, I think it is, um, that they change it up. I liked how season five was. Where Hulk, where uh, Stone Cold would would uh, go into his office and ask uh, Booker T. Trish status and Bill DeMott, who let's talk about this person. Let's talk about this person. I mean, I I, I get that the dub, that WWE wants to put it in the WWE universe's hands. I mean, that's fine and everything, but I mean the I mean they they tried doing that with NXT. The first few seasons back, way back when NXT was like a lame competition show where they had the lame challenges. Um, wait, wait, well, actually, no, Wade Barrett was the uh, one that the pros picked. But Caval, Loki, where's, um, I think he just left Impact. I think he's going to uh, Jared's company. You got Caitlin, a uh, Diva Champ, yes, but did she, she she's gone now. And then you got um, John, Johnny Curtis, a.k.a. Fandango. And we talk about this all the time in sports. And I also, if you guys don't know, I also talk about sports to do it. I've been starting a weekly, weekly show on Blog Talk where I'm going to do it every week. Um, people complain that, especially with this year and the MLB All-Star game, that um, it, shouldn't be, it shouldn't be up to the fans who – who goes in? Who goes in? I mean, the All Star Game for baseball and basketball. I think I think football too, but not as much. Um, basketball, you vote for five people, and even if they're injured, people like Yao Ming made it every year. People like that's a good comparison. Very easy to Yao Ming. Cause, I mean, Zizi's a very likable guy, just like Yao Ming was, but. Did he have the talent? Does he have the ta- he has the heart? Yes, but does he have the talent to be WWE superstar? Oh, as much as I, as much as I love ZZ, ZZ is one of a couple that I actually follow on Twitter. Honestly, I don't see it yet, and uh, it it showed, it showed a lot tonight. Patrick was like, "Do you even want to be here?" And I tweeted the one thing that bugged me about Patrick was how. Annoyed, he, he annoying he was. He started a fight. He started a fight with Tanner two weeks ago. Last week he started a fight with Mon and Josh, and now he wants to call Zizi out. I guess it was tough love. I guess it was, but honestly, Zizi, I don't, I don't, I don't. I feel like next week if Zizi doesn't improve, who who cares about the saves? I mean, there we're five weeks in. They haven't even used the save yet. Hulk, Daniel Bryan, Page. This is like the American Idol save uh, two seasons ago. They're not going to use. It. <laughs> they're not going to use their stupid save. I have a good feeling they're not going to use it because um, they feel like they're making great decisions. And I mean, the first few weeks, yes, but if I was Daniel Bryan, I would have saved Patrick. If I was Paige, I would have said Josh because if you guys remember um, on the episode, Josh, Hulk Hogan called Josh out and Paige was like, no. It just, I, I just don't get it. And it just, it doesn't make sense to me. So hopefully, if they want to do another season of the show, hopefully they, they uh, change this format because honestly, and I hate this, and I hate, I would hate to see Gigi in the bottom three next week because she had one bad week and then her and I get the votes. It's looking like, okay, I'm going to tell you guys who I want to win and who I think is going to win. As far as the guys goes, who I think is going to win, I think it's going to be Mata. Who do I want to win? I want, now that Patrick's gone, I honestly don't know. It's tough to say. I think those, the three minus is easy are good competitors and maybe the final two will be Pat, well, not Patrick. It should be Patrick and uh, Mana, but it's not. 
is she it's gonna be Mata and Tanner. So give me one of those two and then for the girls, I see being Gigi and Sarah Lee. I just got done watching Tough Talk and Sarah Lee. Something lit under something lit under her eyes. I think Paige put her in the bottom three for so many for so many weeks. Was like, okay. She's like, okay, I'm not I don't wanna go home. I want to stay here. She should have gone home week three, in my opinion. Darius should have stayed, but hey, you can't always get it. Yeah, um, I think about, I mean, I've only been on 13 minutes, but I think that about wraps it up for this edition of Big Time Reality TV Special Edition. Um, I might do a blog post about this. I don't know. Kind of tough. I don't really know. But um, they need to fix it because Patrick, no way he should have went tonight. All right, guys, catch you all on the flip side.